Joining me now, Carl Rove, former White House Chief of Staff and Fox News contributor. All right, Carl, what have you gleaned from these primaries? Well, I've gleaned uh, what you already gleaned. I mean, I'm just <laughs> extraneous here supporting your argument that the, the, the Republican enthusiasm is real. Take a look at Pennsylvania. Four years ago, 737,000 people voted in the Republican primary. This year, 1,338,000. Wow. 776,000 people voted four years ago in the Democratic primary, outnumbered the Republicans. This year, they had 1,252,000. 78%, 79-percent increase in the Republican vote, 61% in the Democrat, and the Republicans outnumbered them. Worse in North Carolina. North Carolina, four years ago, 294,000 Republicans. This year, 759. That's a 158 percent increase. Democrats went from 432 to, to 613. So again, the Republicans outnumbered the Democrats in, in North Carolina as well as in Pennsylvania, an exact reversal of four years ago. All right, so and, Carl and Rove, the, 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 the Republican the operative, you are happy with what you've seen so far in the Republican primaries. You are happy. I, I'm, I'm happy with the idea that Republican turnout is larger than Democratic turnout. Not necessarily happy with all the outcomes, because quality of candidates and quality of message matters in the general election. Are you nominating people who can not only unify the Republican Party, but also win independents and, and some Democrats in order to win Are elections? Republicans nominating crazy people that are going to get knocked off in the general? Or are they nominating people that can just ride that red wave no matter how crazy or moderate they are and win anyway? Well, it's a mix. And, and we really won't know until the general election. If, even if you've been you know, run a, a, a campaign in the primary that indicates that you might not be able to do it in the general election. You've got time to change. And, and that's, uh, frankly, one of the cases that we're going to have in the Pennsylvania governor's race. Uh, the, the state Senator Mastriano won by emphasizing that uh, Pennsylvania, the election was stolen and Donald Trump is president, and I'm going to do everything I can to make certain it's not stolen again. The question is, by November, is he going to be talking about the economy and jobs and right. education and crime and taxes and things that people are going to care about, or is he going to stay stuck on a message that may have won him the primary, but but is not going to win him and the And real quick, election. last question, your prediction, is it going to be Oz or McCormick in the recount? It's going to be Oz or McCormick, yes. I think you're absolutely <laughs> All right. right. Look, I mean, it's going to be interesting to watch. Down to 1,123 votes as of this moment. It was twice that yesterday for Oz. Uh, it's right. a, it, I'd hate to be inside either campaign right now because both, both camps have got to be nervous as all get out. All right. I'm not nervous. Thank God. Of course, you're not Oz or, or, or McCormick. Yeah, no interest in that. Rather be on TV. Thank you so much, Carl Rove, The Architect. You bet. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.